Hello, everyone. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Good news, good news. Well, not only did I get a new truck, uh, and we're going to get into that, but good news is I fixed the stutters. Well, I have to thank uh, one of the comments I received and said, hey, did you check your mirrors and make sure they're not set to anything over medium? Well, I went in there to, ch you know, to check it, and sure enough, the mirror distance was set to ultra. So that's what was causing the massive stutters in the game. If I go to the graphic settings, I've been getting a lot of people wanting to know what my graphic settings are anyway, so here they are. If you want to have a look, you can. Uh, the, I put the new graphics mod in, so I'm going to go with color correction. That's what they say to do. I don't know, you know, what that's going to be. Um, but as you can see here, mirror quality, I put on high now. Um, or sorry, mirror distance to medium. Before, it was set to ultra, and that was just creating massive stutters. So I think something got screwed up because I jump in uh, in my free time, and I do Oculus Rift. So... Um, with Oculus Rift, sometimes you have to deal with the whole issue of um, uh, jump, you know, messing with your your settings to get a good frame rate in there. So I think that's what happened. And I went in back in there and I choose Ultra as a previous setting, uh, like one of the auto settings, and it did that. So before we continue on, I want to go to my profiles here because I want to show you the mods I am um, I am running, and I also want to show you the um, order I have them in. And if I have any out of order, be sure to let me know. I kind of just go off of what I've seen other people on the internet do. Uh, start with sound fixes at the top, and then there's the real graphics mod there. We're on version uh, 1.8. We've got uh, real tires mod, better traffic lights, so on and so forth. And this is the uh, order I have them in. So we've pretty much got all of our textures right there. Uh, and then we have the AI and truck traffic mod. I need to update the AI traffic pack. Uh, Jazzy Cat did put out a new one. Uh, and then I put like the textures for the truck right above the truck. Uh, is the F the Freightliner FLD we're going to be using by Ed F Oddfellow. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Can't wait to show it to you. And then the trailer. I did uh, activate these back again because they were not the problem. They were not causing issues, so I didn't have to mess with anything. But that is how I have it. You can um, pause the you know the video and uh, double check it and and make sure that you have the same thing if you want the same experience. We're going to continue our game. There's the world of trucks. There's a like, scan you there. Hopefully I can uh, talk a little bit better here today. Let's go to job market, freight market. Yes, please. We are here in Reading. Why are we in Reading? Ooh, that looks pretty cool. That pilot job. That's a long run. That is a really long run. Uh, we got some Landstar, some Swift. Kind of want a shorter run than that. This is a little, those are a little too long, you know. CR England. Oh, that one's really cool right there. Yogurt going to Reno. Uh, and then a CR England to there. Well, let's do the let's short one to Reno. We don't need to go anything very quick or anything like that. Or very long, I mean. Uh, so that is the GPS destination. I think we'll probably be picking up here. But regardless, check this thing out. Oh, or right across the street, probably. This is the Freightliner FLD by Oddfellow. It's absolutely amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And you will too. And I'll show you the interior. It's going to blow your mind. I mean, this thing's got so many options. You just it's ridiculous. I got a Coca-Cola there. I got a little cooler there and a bag. Here's the back there. Um, that is all the, uh, the cord moves around the, uh, little, uh, what you call it there? The, uh, air freshener that moves around too. God, I can't speak. And then we have the GPS in the forward left side there. Let's turn that guy off. Throw this baby into reverse a little bit. I want you to hear this engine sound. It sounds really good. And I'll show you what I mean after the helicopter passes here. But listen to this thing. How amazing is that? Pretty good stuff. It's even got a little nice squeak to the, the brakes and stuff whenever we get there. Let's turn our headlights on because we're going to be going right across the way to pick up. Nope, we're not going to the Walmart, though. We're going down a little further to pick up. But the Jake brake in this thing is really good. But it's just the overall quality of this mod. It's it's absolutely insane uh, from what I saw in the uh, little description of the mod. It's an old 18 wheels of steel mod so that makes more sense all right let's watch the speed limit here i get nabbed for speeding all the time in this truck because i've got close to 600 horsepower in it 
Although 65, they're here. It's not on that side, though. I can guarantee you that. Look at that moon. Why would it be 65 through here? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, well, I can let you listen to the Jake break. Listen to this. Pretty good. Whoa, dude. Okay. Sorry. My fault. My mistake, sir. Didn't realize you were gonna go. <laughs> but he was like, screw it, I'm going, man. I don't think we hit him because we would have gotten the traffic offense if we did. Like, it was so close, but we didn't hit him. All right, let's make a left here. These people are just going real slow today. Everybody's going slow today. Go right after this guy. Skip these gears, no problem. We'll go down here. Now, the sun should be coming up soon enough. And with this graphics mod, I'm really happy to have it. Before I had the Peeval one in, uh, and then this one has like, uh, it's the RGM real graphics mod, but it's got the S gate in it. And I just love the sunsets and the sunrises. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, honestly. So very happy to have that mod back in. I guess we're just going down this way. 65. Okay. Can do. We'll just follow this car down this way. There's eight high right there. So not much longer. We'll be there. We'll be. We'll hook up. All right. Looks like we're going to be picking up right down here on the right, and the sun is about to come up. It is currently 4:11 a.m. and we should be picking up very soon. That moon looks so cool out there, lighting up everything. Very neat indeed. Bushnell Farms, that's where we are. Okay, well, let's pull in here to Bushnell and see what they got for us today. Nobody coming, so we'll just go ahead and roll through that. And we should have our trailer, which looks like it's going to be right here, actually. Let's have a look-see. Let's have a look-see. Freight market. I love the antennas, little bullhorn antennas like that. Uh, right there, take that job. Go into the eddies. So that'll be a fun drop. Always is fun at eddies, that's for sure. Let's turn those secondary lights on. And we're picking that one up right there. It says job satisfaction 10 feet ahead. <laughs> Whatever that means, man. Now this does have uh, advanced trailer coupling working on it. It's a little tricky to get on there, but that's the challenge of picking up a trailer. It's not as easy as one would think. Let's just turn around this way so we can see what we're doing. I love the squeaky brakes. It sounds so cool. All right, let's back it in this way. Those air brakes. I can't really see. I think we're lined up in the wrong one. Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, we were, we were lined up for the wrong one, but that's okay. Now I'll be able to see. Fine. Let's try to hit this kingpin just right on the first try. Nice and easy. It's got a reefer on it, so it's going to take a little bit more. It's not too bad right there. Let's see if we can get that kingpin right here. Got it. Nice. Pull that. Have a look at it. SchaeferTrucking.com. How about that? Such a great looking truck, though. That really is cool. Awesome. All right, let's do uh, a tug test here. Let's put it into low, low. And we'll pull that parking brake. And we'll hold the trailer brake down. And tug. We got it. Let's go ahead and roll on out of here. Let's turn our lights on. Turn those four ways off. Let's get on the highway. Let's get it rolling. This truck is just absolutely awesome. And I didn't think I would find anything, you know, for a while that would trump the uh, 389, but I was wrong. I was wrong. All right, let me go 
left right here at the stop sign and take it down that way. There we go. And this thing has a ton of customization options, a ton of them. I didn't do it in this video. If you want to check that out, you can check out my uh, live stream on uh, twitch.tv slash uh, jfabiano. You can watch the older videos there. I did a stream on it just the other day and we decked it all out. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out over there. I didn't put it on my Fabiano live channel. We were kind of low on energy and I was tired. So I was like, ah, it's not my best. So if it's not the best stream in the world, I don't put it on the internet or I don't put it on my Fabiano live channel at least, you know, it's still on the internet. Use that Jake break to our advantage. here now I do have that physics mod back in so it's going to account for that the brakes are not going to be as strong as they normally are they're a lot more realistic the trailers feel a lot more realistic I do love that physics mod and uh, if you want to know what version I'm using I'm using the one that says physics uh, dash manual for manual transmissions but I really like whenever you go over speed bumps and stuff that's really cool there we go. Man, that uh, Hurricane Irma did some did some damage, didn't it? It sure did. I was just looking at some of that today. That's a real, real, real shame. They have three different hurricanes going on at one time. Well, one's a tropical storm. Well, Irma's a tropical storm now. What do you got? What is it? Kaita? Kaiti or whatever? And then you got, uh, which is like Katie. And then you've got Jose out there. Hard to say what's going to become of them. Those trucks. I love that, uh, that sound mod too. It shows you just how realistic that is when trucks go whizzing by. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was a cop, but it's not. Don't mind me, officer. Boy, that is beautiful. That sunrise looks absolutely awesome. Can't wait to see it because we're going to be taking uh, this little side highway down to come back through Reading. But I just love how it. Oh, really? We had been like barely going over the limit. It's 30 through here. Yeah, we were doing a little over 30, about 37 or so there. Uh, yep. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy gawking at the clouds. But it looks really good. but a lot of people want to know how how you get your uh, game to look so crisp and you saw in my graphics settings the scaling the scaling is pretty much the anti-aliasing so it does that that scaling and it makes it look real nice so that's what i'm using there scaling of 300 which if you can get away with scaling of 400 it'll look real nice it'll look really nice clark all right put her in first they're turning i don't know about that guy though Okay, he's going. So I'm gonna go. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's green. Right around there. What are we doing on fuel? We're, all, we're fine on fuel. Hear that damn helicopter again. Oh, a nice truck. I need to get a better horn in this thing. I mean, it doesn't sound bad. It's funny sounding. I like it. I do like it. <laughs> oh, very nice. But yeah, I think I'm going to be sticking with this truck for a little while, you know? I'm 30 through here. Watch out. Don't be speeding in this area. They'll, they'll crucify you, that's for sure. Go down here. We'll make our left. So this is where we started. It was Eddie's. We went all the way down to the Bushnell Farms to pick up. And we're taking it to the Eddie's in Reno. 43,500 pounds of yogurt. Let's slow this puppy down. That'll work right there. 
right there. We can watch that sun come up. That's awesome. We're going to be going directly to the east. So we'll see that sunrise. Cisco. I need to put some other mods back in. The ones of the, the real company mods and stuff like that. Since that I found out what was causing the stuttering, I can kind of go back to how I used to have the game because I took out almost all my mods and then had to start putting them in one by one. Domino's Pizza. Man, I guess that uh, they have a pretty busy schedule. These uh, Redding helicopter tours. Nobody come from that way. Nobody come from that way. All right. I assume you're going straight there, buddy. You are going to wait, right? Yeah, you are. No, you are going to wait. Don't you run into my truck. I thought they were going to for a second there. Meanwhile, I'm over revving the engine. Make it right up here and then we'll be on our highway we need to be on soon enough. It's up here on the we'll make a right and then a left. Which I don't know why you can't go straight and they get on the highway that way. They just they give us an extra turn. For whatever reason that is. Trailer tail. There we go. Let's keep it rolling, everybody. Keep it rolling. I don't even have to shift. Ooh, I love it when it works out like that. Just listen to that sound. Now shift here. Yep. Reno this way. This is the fun part. And there's always a van there or something stupid. Come on. Okay. Fine. I just don't care anymore. I just get on the highway and it's like, you know what? Move out of my way. Because we're not stopping. Not going to happen. We got some traffic up here. Got to be careful. Two lane highway. This will be fun. We'll be stuck stuck behind that Safeway truck up there, I think. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, I think we're starting to get some speed now, so maybe it won't be so bad. We'll go into eight low. Got a little windy road here. But I like these. It changes up, you know, the pace that you normally have of driving on the big highways. Brown Vix sitting on the side of the road. A lot of those. Now, now that I found out what was causing the stutters, I think I'm going to try to go back to the MHA Pro map. I love that thing. So, plan on doing that. So, probably by the next episode, we'll have that in here. Also, somebody made a, uh, a five-gallon logistics trailer, which is really cool. So, we might see that pop up eventually. Big thanks to them. I don't remember their name. On there I just saw it on the steam workshop so that's really cool of them all right this is gonna be all about steering and Jake breaking that's what this road's all about and I'm not gonna switch it into uh, eight high just yet because we have these hills and I have those new uh, vegetation textures in here so it kind of gives it that pop I'm really really enjoying my American truck sim lately it's really nice. Now I need to get the uh, Coast to Coast mod back in. Uh, I get a lot of questions asking why I don't use the Coast to Coast mod in videos. Uh, it's all due to time. It takes a very long time to go from city to city on that map. And I'd rather just do short little runs for YouTube. Uh, but Coast to Coast, I, use, I do that on uh, Twitch streams if I have the map actually working. Got a lot of tour buses today on the roads yeah I had a feeling I'm gonna be stuck behind this Safeway truck for a long time but there's more traffic in front of him it's just early in the morning so we're getting that early morning traffic 
at rush hour. So we just gotta be safe here. Be on our toes, because I have a feeling they're gonna start slamming the brakes on us. School bus! It's that time of year. Kids going back to school. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a road we get off on anywhere. We're going to be just staying on this road for a long time. There is a rest area up here on the right, though. I do remember that. Um, it was at night on the stream on my way to Reading. And there, it just it says rest area. It has a, an arrow on there. Nowhere beforehand does it tell you there's a rest area up here. It's like, rest area. Good luck stopping and making it. There's nowhere to pull over and turn around after you you pass it. Sometimes I wish we would have a little bit more warning than that. Let's go ahead and just go secondary lights here. We don't need our headlights on. I do like the silver color on the FLD. It looks good. A good looking truck. I think the last time I did this run from Reading to Reno, it was in the winter time. So it was the snow mod fairly certain. Watch out for the invisible deer. Deer crossing. I mentioned that on the live stream. I was like, that'd be cool, man. If they had like deer or cows or something. Something like that in the game. But deer for sure, if they just dart it out. I mean, I'm not saying do it all the time at night. Just like once in a while or even during the day. Just to where it catches you off guard, you know? I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm quite thankful for this traffic up here. It's flowing quite nicely, to be honest. I was thinking we're going to be crawling at like 40 miles an hour, but they've been doing pretty good. So we're going to go into eight high for the first time here. I'm going to climb into this hill. It's got to be patient. Oh, that's sweet. That 389 flat top with a CFI trailer like that. It's really good. Now, some of the vegetation textures are a little bright, but you know what? I mean, lime green, that's... It's not, uh, it's not far off from spring whenever things are that bright green. But what am I talking about? We're in California and Nevada, so who cares? Going to eight low here for this hill. Just following the line back behind the traffic. Nice two lane drive today. Look at that lake out there. That's gorgeous. That's supposed to be Lake Tahoe, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in the Lake Tahoe region. I wish they would have had that, you know, as a, I mean, it's such an iconic place. Oh, that Sunoco racing field went by us. Um, it's such a iconic place in California. I can't believe they did not model it. You know? I don't think that that was Lake Tahoe. I think we're too far north for that. Tahoe would be way south of Redding, but what do I know? But it'd be cool if we had a Lake Tahoe drop-off. You know what? Maybe may MHA Pro... Maybe they do have that. I can't remember. I know he added a bunch of ci cities. That's why I was like, well, that'd be worth it right along. You know, just that. All right, traffic. What are we doing up here? That Jeep needs to slow his roll. We're in the bumper of that truck. Oh, there's a new Cascadia. Interesting turn up here. It's pretty sharp. You see where that truck is right there. Downshift into seven. Hello. Uh, the engine has plenty of power. I have not had any issues getting up hills in this thing at all. 
even carrying, I mean, well, it, it's only 43,000 pounds of, of yogurt. So that could be way heavier than it actually is, so. But you still can't complain about it. Here going to seven high. Look at those rock textures. That is so cool. Back down to seven low here. And those are the new rock textures. And a little stretched on that mesh there, but still looks pretty cool. Welcome to Nevada. We're getting there. We are getting there. We just got to be patient. If we didn't have that, that damn Safeway truck up there, we would have been there already. But what are you going to do? He's just saving us from getting more tickets, essentially. So we can't fault him. Oh, man. I don't know how that bus made it, but he did. I thought he was going to hit that truck. All right, the cop turned off, so... Hopefully people will speed up now. If only it was that easy. If only. All right, I'm going to take a screenshot, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, we got our screenshot. We got off the two-lane highway, so now it turned into a, a four-lane. So that's good. We can actually get some speed going here now, finally. Go ahead and shift up here into eight. We're in eight high, eight high now. But the speed limit through here is 70, so it's going to take us a while to get up to speed, but we will. We'll be able to do it. And it shouldn't be too much longer before we get to Reno. Another thing is when I when you jump out sometimes and take a picture, it removes the traffic that was in front of you, which in this case it did. So that's kind of nice. South to Carson City. Yep. That's where we're going. We're going to the other side of Reno for our delivery. Who's on this side, actually? Hey, we made it to 70 miles an hour. We're going to be getting off up here. All right. That thing sounds amazing. I just can't get over how good that sounds. It might be all right here. We just keep on coasting. We'll make this light. There we go. Just like that. No problem at all. Maybe down here on the left, possibly. I think it might. Hard to say, really. There you go, buddy. Oh, I should have got stayed in the right lane because these guys got to make the left now. Uh, we can still do it though after these cars. Okay, there's somebody gonna let us out. Thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. It's up here on the right anyway, so I should have stayed in that right lane. I don't know what I was thinking. Been a pretty partly cloudy day for this run. I mean, for being 10 in the morning, I thought we'd have a little bit more sun than we do, but that's one thing that's really cool about this graphics mod is you get the different weather. Which is nice, instead of having the same old, same old. 30 through here, let's slow down. There we go. All right, there looks good. It's literally on the corner down here on the right. This eddies is. I need to give it more gas than that whenever I do that. I'm not sure where they want us to drop, though. Still got to do more gas for that. Let's try it on this next one for the rev match. There we go. That was better. And Sam's club truck for the win. Okay, Mr. Hummer, what you doing? You're going. I'll wait for it then. Oh, that old classic car. It looks so good. We got the green. Interesting pulling into this Eddie's. Oh, this is one of the new Eddie's? Nope. It's the old Eddie's. We just have a lot more room to pull in, so that's kind of cool. You don't normally get that. That's for sure. What the hell are you doing back there, you idiot? You smack right into our trailer. Like, I'm clearly making a right turn into this lot. 
They don't care. They never care. I mean, come on. Yeah, honk at me all you want, you jackass. You're lucky I don't get in a fight with you. All right, what we got here? Uh, where do you need it? Right there on that side. We can do it. Can do. All right, let's try to make this in one sweep here. Gotta clear that entrance. Start turning here. What I have found with this drop is you want to be more in the middle of this than further to the right. All right, let's back it on up to like this. And then swing it. And then we'll pull it forward. See, working out pretty good for us. Just don't want to run into these cars. I always say that and then I always hit one. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm seriously going to try not to this time. Just need to pull up right in that little slot right there. That'd be nice. Oh, uh, yeah. We need to straighten it out big time here. I guess nose mirrors would be nice. Keep turning it. Right up next to this stupid Crown Vic right there. It's got to be parked right in our way. That's all right. I'm going to slip around it. Uh, it's going to be tight. I'm going to try to pull up to the right here without hitting that. Got a shorter trailer today. Ooh, we're so close to that car right there. This is the most annoying part is all these cars that are parked right in your way. Most annoying part of it for sure, but we're all right now. All right, let's just back this sucker out. On back we go. I don't want to hit any cars today. That's a lot better, that. Nope. I say that. Let's get it straightened out here, bud. This trailer does. It, want, it had no problem turning that way, but when I want to turn it the other way, it's like, nope. It's real stubborn today. It's like, I don't want to do that. It's like, all right, then. I know you don't want to do it. If it was my way, I wouldn't back you in in the first place. Here we go. At least it's straight this time. But now we can just ease it back in there. I'll let it start sliding back now. Looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the angle and then I'm going to back in with it. Kind of like this. Back with it. Let's straighten it out a little bit here. I want a little bit less of that angle there. A little more like that. That'll work. Those people out there are all honking at each other being stupid, aren't they, today? Yes, they are. They're not very kind to each other. We'll have to probably do one pull up here, but that's all right. What are they doing out there? They're losing their minds. Honk, honk, honk. Yeah, I know they, the cargo is okay to drop there, but I'm not happy with it. Make it nice and straight here. That's what we're going to do. And yeah, that'll work right in there. Make it a little straighter. And on back we go. Hey, we didn't hit any cars today in the parking lot. We didn't hit anything in the parking lot, so that's good. That means it's a good day. Pull that parking brake. Turn those off. And we made it, folks. We made it. Job satisfaction. 10 feet ahead. Well, let me know what you thought of the FLD in the comments below. Shut it off. We're gonna unhook it. And that is going to do it for today. Let's see what we got. Excellent. 234 miles, 6 hours and 1 minute, 63.3 gallons of, con of fuel consumed. And look at that. We're moving towards that level 22 ever so slightly. It just takes forever once you get over the level 20. That's okay, though. That'll do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.